Hello friends and welcome. Lately I've been seeing an issue where people are just in their lanes way too long and it ends up being not good for anyone involved, the carry or the support. And it's tough. I know it's tough to know when can I leave the lane. That is a multifaceted question. But one element is the question you see on the screen right now. When can the carry just jungle to farm instead of having to be in the lane? Because that's why many people feel like they're stuck in the lane. They have to, you know, the carry's got to farm in the lane, so I got to help him farm in the lane. But if they can just farm as efficiently in the jungle, do you have to be in the lane at that point? Not really. You can leave, and maybe your carry can still try to farm the lane. And if they get bullied out, they can just go jungle. And if they get the same resources, why does it matter? You get to go do something more efficient. And in fact, it's good for your carry, because when you're in the lane helping him farm, you actually end up splitting a lot of the resources, especially the experience. Whereas if he's farming alone in the jungle, he's getting it by himself. That's better for him. So, quick answer. When he can farm the carry, when they can farm three camps a minute, that is roughly the same as two full creep waves a minute, which is what you get a minute. It's a little less, but it's still good to do. Why? Well, let me show you with some math, guys. That's a quick answer. If you don't like math, there you go. That's the number you'll remember. But let me explain this. So here's what you get if you farm two creep waves. 438 gold, 496 experience. This is based on seven and a half minutes. The creeps have scaled up a little bit because before this time, you really probably will just lane and you won't think about leaving. But it's around this time when you can start to leave the lane. So I'm going to use these values. But honestly, the numbers don't change that much. So it, it didn't really matter. I didn't, didn't need to waste some time pointing this out to you. But anyways... Keep in mind that you are probably splitting this experience because if you're both in the lane, this is what you're splitting between the carry and the support. Now, here is the three camps I'm talking about. If you farm two hard camps and one medium camp, you get this amount of gold, this amount of experience. If you do two medium camps and one hard camp, it's a little less than that, but still close enough where the idea holds true. And that's why I'm just going to say three camps. Now, the question I'm sure you're asking is like, wait, the, the creep waves are worth more than the, the jungle. Right? So even if the carry was farming alone, wouldn't they want to be in the lane? Yes, if they can do that. Like, they have to get every last hit, which means if the offlaner is there contesting them, um, maybe both offlaner and support, then they are not getting these values. And if they miss one or two last hits, then it would be, be, it would be better to just jungle. Now, that is like worst case scenario. Like, we're having a tough time playing the lane, so you have to jungle. In a good scenario, you want your carry to be able to farm the waves and then the hard and small camp that are near the lane. So actually, let's come back to that table. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the safe lane jungle for both Radiant and Dire. This is the off lane jungle. You might also know it as the triangle. Now, the safe lane jungle has got a lot of camps in it, so you'll actually see it is worth quite a lot. But realistically, at this point in the game, most heroes cannot farm the entire jungle every minute. Um for a variety of reasons. They lack damage, they lack move speed, all of that. They can't get to all these camps in time. Um, but later, they will. So I think it's nice to know that it is worth a lot. Next, the offlane jungle, the triangle. This is easier because it's only three camps, so people can realistically farm this uh, once a minute. This is why people say that this is very important to hold on because you'll notice this offlane jungle is worth pretty much the same as an entire lane. The downside being that you have to be able to kill Ancients, which not every carry can do efficiently. This is the pattern I was talking about. So you, let's say you're the dire carry. You push out the lane, farm two waves, get to the tower. I don't really care about taking the tower because I'm the, the carry. I want gold and experience. So I come farm this hard camp. I come farm this small camp. And then hopefully the lane has pushed back to their tower at that point and they repeat the cycle. Maybe it hasn't. They go do another camp. Then they go back, whatever. The point is they're farming the lane and the jungle. Now, if you're winning your lane, this is possible. If you're losing your lane, this is much harder to do. So these are probably the three camps your carry might have to fall back on if you have to do what we're talking about. Like you get kicked out of their lane, or maybe the, care, the support leaves, so you're not feeling confident to stay there. Um, you come farm the jungle. This is two hard camps, one medium, two hard camps, one medium. Maybe you choose to do two medium camps and one hard camp. Like it, It's fine. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's only worth a little less gold. I should have had it here on the table. Oops. I promise. It's like 20 less gold and a little less experience. Um, I, I kind of forget the exact value. I'll be honest. Not important. Back to this big table. So 
what you guys are doing in a lot of your games is that you lane for like 15 to 20 minutes. Now let's let's use the 10 minute value, okay? If you farm two creep waves for 10 minutes, let's say you're not even splitting resources. Like ignore that part. Let's just pretend it's the carry. If they farm two creep waves for 10 minutes, that is worth less than farming three camps for five minutes and then farming super efficiently for five minutes. Um, you would think I would show you the math, but it's kind of a pain to write out. Just pro I promise you it's true. Um, so then, how do we apply that to the game? If you are a support player and you get to the point where your carry can farm three camps a minute, that is when you have the option to leave. And you go to perhaps your off lane and take the enemy safe lane tower. It takes you a while. It takes five minutes, let's say. So your carry, they get kicked out of the lane. They have to farm inefficiently in their jungle for a little bit. But by taking the enemy safe lane tower, you now create a home for your carry to come farm the lane and the jungle camps nearby. So now they farm very efficiently and you guys go do something else. This is much better than just the carry and the support splitting all the resources for like 10 extra minutes because you feel unconfident to leave. It is worth it to leave so you can do things. If nothing else, it's just boring to be in the lane that long, guys. So that's kind of it. I hope you guys will remember that. Again, you don't need to know the math. You don't need to know the numbers. It doesn't matter. Just know I have the option to leave as a support if my carry can farm three camps because they can continue to try to play the lane but if they get kicked out they are jungling just about as efficiently and so long as you are contributing to the team to then you know make space for your carry to give them a place to farm like in the short run it feels bad but in the long run it is very good for your team to do this and if you're a carry player keep this in mind stop going to the safe lane if the safe lane sucks if you are getting killed this is not what you're getting if you aren't able to last hit every creep, you are not getting 438 gold a minute. You're getting like 100 from your passive gold because you're not getting last hits. And that's when it's better to just go jungle because some jungle camps are worth more than no creep waves. So when your lane sucks, just go to the jungle and know that in fact, when you can start farming four camps a minute, that is better than two creep waves. Now, the ideal, if we go back to this real quick, the ideal is doing both, getting the, the creeps and the jungle. But if you're kicked out of your lane completely, keep in mind, the jungle is actually worth more than two creep waves. This is why people like Naga, Siren, and Wraith King, they go farm the jungle pretty quickly because they can go through all the camps in, at a speed at this point of the game that no one else can. Um, well, that's not true. Other people can, but you know what I mean. Fast farmers can do this. Slow farmers cannot. Slow farmers have to depend on the creep waves. Fast jungle farmers tend to leave the lane early to go do this. So whether you're a carry, whether you're a support, please keep this concept in mind. Three camps is the break-even point. When your carry can farm three camps, both parties are now free to move around. You don't have to keep playing the lane. Now, until that point, you kind of probably do want to play the lane, right? If they can only farm one camp a minute then probably getting what you can out of the creep waves is better. But that's why it's like, once you can do it, we now have options. We don't have to be here. Laning can be over. There are other reasons you might still stay in the lane, but that is not the topic of this video. So that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. And send, if people don't believe you, send them this video. I don't know. Share this idea. Stop staying in the lane so long. It's really not good for you guys. Thanks. Bye.